I want to say a few words about an issue that affects thousands of American workers, as well as millions of Americans who drive on our nation's roads and bridges every single day. At the end of September, if Congress doesn't act, the transportation bill will expire. Now, this bill provides funding for highway construction, bridge repair, mass transit systems, and other essential projects that keep our people and our commerce moving quickly and safely. And for construction workers and their families across the country, it represents the difference between making ends meet or not making ends meet. If we allow the transportation bill to expire, over 4,000 workers will be immediately furloughed without pay. If it's delayed for just 10 days, it will lose nearly $1 billion in highway funding. That's money we can never get back. And if it's delayed even longer, almost one million workers could lose their jobs over the course of the next year. That includes some of the folks behind me today. You've got uh, Adam Benzel and Chris Negley, uh, who are with the Federal Highway Administration. We've got Hector Seeley and Andrew uh, Austin Anderson, uh, who work for the Fort Myers Construction Company. If we don't extend this bill by the end of September, all of them will be out of a job just because of politics in Washington. And that's, uh, that's just not acceptable. That's inexcusable. It's inexcusable to put more jobs at risk in an industry that's already been one of the hardest hit over the last decade. It's inexcusable to cut off necessary investments at a time when so many of our highways are choked with congestion, when so many of our bridges are in need of repair, when so many commuters depend on reliable public transit, and when travel and shipping delays cost businesses billions of dollars every single year. Now, if this story sounds familiar, that's because we've heard it before. Just a few weeks ago, Congress refused to act on another bill, typically a routine bill that uh, would have ended uh, up pulling thousands of aviation workers off the job and delaying necessary airport improvement projects across the country. And when Congress finally got their act together, uh, they only funded the FAA until September 16th. And that's why when they come back next month, not only do they need to pass the transportation bill, but they've also got to pass a clean extension of that FAA bill for longer this time and address back pay for the workers who were laid off during the last shutdown. At a time when a lot of people in Washington are talking about creating jobs. It's time to stop the political gamesmanship that can actually cost us hundreds of thousands of jobs.